stuff, sir. This is why you took this job? To harm peaceful people? What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, what's up, y'all? It's uh, August 4th. We're here in uh, New York City in the Financial District. There's uh, a lot of court buildings around, and uh, myself, Adam Miller, we're going to join Bile and Julian Hecklin and hopefully some other folks do some uh, fully informed jury association outreach. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, uh, essentially it's it's uh, literature that we hand out that it, that informs people that they have a right to judge the law itself and not necessarily the facts that the uh, state brings. This is a great form of activism. You know, there's there's local, state, uh, federal courthouses all over the country, obviously. So just getting some friends together, even even go out by yourself, print up some materials or request them from Fiji, and just hand them out. You know, and all we say is. Hey, would you like some uh, literature to read? Um, because the state has said that you can't selectively target ju potential jurors, so we just hand it out to everybody. And that way, you know, if someone were to be called at a later date, then they can uh, they can go in there being informed about this uh, jury notification. For example, if I was arrested uh, smoking marijuana and it was on video, and, and you know, they had a damning case against me, uh, we could the jury could say, hey, that shouldn't even be illegal. That shouldn't even be a, a law. So. Uh, they could nullify that law and uh, you know I could be free to go so uh, it's a very powerful uh, tool that, that that we as individuals have against the state against uh, arbitrary man-made legislation so they they really try to uh, crack down on it uh, Julian Hecklin he's been arrested I don't know dozens of times in multiple places for handing this out so uh, hopefully nothing like that happens today and uh, I'm in a court case now as is Bile file for photographing me for distributing literature. Since it's now about 11.45, I think we'll proceed to the court and start the festivities. He's not hurting anybody, guys. He's handing out pieces of paper. Why would you put handcuffs on someone holding, handing out pieces of paper to people who willingly want that? What if he was handing out menus for a Chinese place down the street? Would you arrest him then? You just find this literature dangerous because it questions your authority. He's 78, guys. Real, you guys, uh, real proud of yourselves, aren't you? Is this why you guys took this job to protect people? Is this the kind of society you guys want to live in where there's a police state you can't even hand out pieces of paper to people who want them? Just doing your job though, right? So that you can feed your family so you'll take him from his? Doesn't make a lot of sense. Hasn't harmed anybody, there's no victim. 
Hey everybody, he's handing out fully informed jury association literature, FIJA. Google FIJA and see why these men with guns are using force against a peaceful person. Jury information simply states that the jury doesn't have to decide on innocent or guilty, but it can also decide if the law is a, a valuable or a, a meaningful law, so you can nullify that law. And uh, that's what this man was handing out, and now they're going to take him and put him in a cage. You guys got to think for yourself. You guys have no urge to rise because you have a badge. You guys have no right to use aggressive force against somebody. This is funny, isn't it? Aren't you, isn't this funny? Are you smiling about this? You're taking a peaceful person against his will. What's up, sir? This is why you took this job? To harm peaceful people? What the fuck are you talking about? All he was doing was handing out literature and they tried to arrest him. They've arrested him 11 times out here before. Maybe you should stop doing it. Well, maybe you guys should stop using force against him. He's not hurting anybody. Who used force against him? They tried to arrest him. That's not force? No, no, I wasn't here. So, you're, but you're going to stand by and let your colleagues take away a peaceful person like this? Who are my colleagues? I don't know, these guys. I saw you standing over there with them. Yes, what's going on? It's interesting when the protesters come around, you usually have an alternate agenda. Well, I mean, the alternate agenda is uh, telling people of their rights. You guys have badge numbers? J. Valentin. Can I get your name and badge number, Sullivan? Off. What's your badge Name's number? Name's Sullivan. I don't have a badge. You don't have a badge number? Sullivan. You guys don't have any more rights? How about you? How do you pronounce your name, sir? What is that? Commonary? Uh, you got a badge number? What, you don't want people to know that's what you do at work every day? What about you? What's your name and badge number? Don't you have to state that? You're a public servant, right? Right? I pay for your salary? Right? You don't have a name? You don't have a badge number? You just go around arresting peaceful people and try to educate the public, huh? That's what you do? You think about what just happened. A guy was handing out literature in a peaceful fashion, and then a bunch of other people came with guns, uh, tried to put handcuffs on him, and now they're taking him away. That, sound, that doesn't sound like the land of the free to me. You know, if you're an honorable person, I think you would probably take that badge off your shoulder, quit your job, and get, a, and get some real employment that doesn't depend on theft to fund it. Private security would be an uh, honorable and, and profitable business for yourself. You can try to ignore us, man, but I know some of this is getting through and you're going to think about it. When all this is slowed down and you're by yourself, you're going to say, man, it's pretty fucked up that, that this guy got arrested. He didn't do anything. And when you do, I hope, you, uh, I hope you're man enough to quit your job. Realize that it's not moral. Realize that it's not moral to use force against peaceful people. Do you have any thoughts on that? You're just going to sit there and ignore us. What did the, uh, what did the oath uh, say that you swore when you took that job? That you're probably essentially something that you're going to take, you're going to help people and uh, keep people safe? I mean, today the only impression I saw was done by you and, and uh, the other people with those silly costumes on. Oh, good job. Job well done, buddy. Yeah. Good job. Information on jurors' rights? 